Hey there, great news if you own the new 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro with M1 Pro or M1 Max chips. We have just launched some brand new shortcut keyboard covers for Avid Media Composer, Logic Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, LumaFusion, Avid Media Composer, and Premiere Pro. So these have come straight out of production and landed with us today. So I'm actually gonna unbox one for the first time and show you how they look on my new 14 inch MacBook Pro. So let's get into it. Right, let's open this up. It's always exciting when you get a brand new product. So, oh, here we go. Here it is. So this is the Final Cut Pro keyboard cover. Lewis uses Premiere Pro, I tend to use Final Cut Pro. And as you can see, we've got a little cut out there for the fingerprint reader on this new Mac. Now, a lot of the keyboard covers look the same, but Apple has actually changed the depth of the keys. So you do need a new cover if you have the 14 inch or 16 inch. So I'm gonna put this on now for the first time. Let's take a look. And wow, that looks great really, really good. So not only will this give you all of the shortcuts for your program of choice, of course, this has all of the pro, uh, program shortcuts for Final Cut Pro, but it also protects your MacBook Pro against dirt, dust and spills. I can't tell you the amount of times I've nearly spilled a coffee on a MacBook Pro and ruined it, so it protects you against that. And obviously with the current situation we're in at the moment with COVID, um, if you're using a MacBook Pro and you kind of share it between a few people, you can just take these covers on and off and wash them under the tap with a bit of soap and hot water, uh, dry them out and put them back on your Mac. So they do act as kind of like an antibacterial protection um, for your computer as well. But let's take a closer look at this skin. Okay, so we've got the keyboard cover on the MacBook Pro. And as you can see, on the bottom of each key, you've actually got the shortcut text for your program. So this tells you what the tool does. You've got the shortcut icon. So for example, if we look at the T key, we've got the trim tool. And on the H, we've got the hand tool. And they're color grouped into different colors. So you can see here, the J, K, and L keys are color grouped with this kind of pinky color. And this is because they are all play functions. So if you're fast forwarding through a track, it obviously makes sense that you may wanna stop or rewind. So having these color coded keys helps you find the next tool in your workflow a lot easier. Another example is the, let's have a look here. We've got the timeline tools such as the Z is the zoom tool, the A is the select tool, the B is the blade tool and so on. You then of course have the keyboard standard typing letter in the top left corner and you have the standard Mac modifier and F row shortcuts at the top here. And then we've chopped out the top right section so you can still access your Touch ID on your MacBook Pro. So as you can see, this is a great addition. If you already own a cover, you'll know how great these are. But if you wanna check one out, go to editorskeys.com. I'll put a direct link in the description below so you can go directly to each cover of choice. And if you are a Final Cut user, click up here if you wanna see our Final Cut Pro tutorials. Click up here if you wanna see our latest video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.